Καλημέρα φίλες και φίλοι. Τι κάνετε. Εγώ είμαι πολύ καλά. Αλλά σήμερα I want to understand a little bit better how this article that in English is the a, e, okay, like a use, a coffee, a car, how this article works in Greek, okay? As I mentioned before in other videos, uh, this is a big challenge for me. All right, and not just for me, for everybody who wants to learn Greek. It's not just the verbs that we've got a lot of combination with the conjugations, but it's also the nouns, all right? Because somehow in Greek, uh, we need to conjugate, let's call it like that, nouns. But let's forget about that and let's go into examples because that's the best way for me to learn okay and i hope i can help you as well so let's start with asking about what these things are okay the most common question is that you could use like what is this okay like what is this afto ti in ti in afto okay ti in afto that says what is this okay so this afto is like generic it okay when there is not she, it's not she it's not he it's like something is it so afto afto tiene afto marios tiene afto aftos in enas cafés ne enas cafés que afto Αυτός ένας κατάλογος. Αυτό, τι είναι αυτό. Αυτό είναι ένα μπουκάλι ούσο. Ναι, mm. ένα μπουκάλι ούσο. Ωραία. Και αυτό, τι είναι αυτό. Αυτό είναι ένα ποτήρι. Ένα ποτήρι, ναι. Αυτό, τι είναι αυτό. Αυτό είναι ένα βιβλίο. Ένα βιβλίο, ναι. Και αυτό, τι είναι αυτό. <laughs> αυτό είναι ένα αυτοκίνητο. Αυτοκίνητο. Και αυτό, mm. τι είναι αυτό. Τι είναι μία μπύρα. Είναι μία μπύρα. Mm. Τι είναι αυτό. <laughs> Αυτή είναι μία σοκολάτα. Και, και αυτό, τι είναι αυτό. Αυτή είναι μία κιθάρα. Είναι μία κιθάρα. Και αυτό, τι είναι Ο... αυτό. Αυτή είναι μία τηλεόραση, Σάρα. Μία τηλεόραση. Παιδιά, η Σάρα δεν ξέρει τίποτα. Okay, okay. Let's uh, get this. So we've got enas cafés. Aftos in enas cafés. So we've got enas cafés. Enas gimos portocali. Okay. Enas hipologistis. Enas catálogos. Ena biblio. Ne. Ena. Bucali uso. Ena potiri. Mia socolata. Mia kizara. So, enas cafés. Enas gimos. Those are masculine nouns. They are the masculine. 
Ένα ποτήρι. Ένα ποτήρι. Ένα μπουκάλι. They are neutral nouns. But μία σοκολάτα. Μία μπύρα. They are feminine nouns. All right. Up to there, I understand. Καταλαβαίνω. Ναι, καταλαβαίνω. But, all right. Before I remember in previous videos, for instance, έχω έναν υπολογιστή. Sarah, but why? Why on earth? Yeah. Okay. Here is where the grammar gets a bit more complicated. And we need to analyze a bit further the sentences. So, the best way to do it is by using two examples. Let's go to the first example. Αυτός, αυτός είναι ένας υπολογιστής. First sentence. Other sentence could be, εγώ έχω έναν υπολογιστή. Ναι, εγώ έχω έναν υπολογιστή. In the first sentence, who is the subject in that sentence? What is the main subject? Yes, the main subject is ένας υπολογιστής. That's the main and its focus, that sentence. However, in εγώ έχω έναν υπολογιστή, who is the main subject? Think about it. Please. Who? The main subject is I. I have a computer. Ego. Ego. Ego is the main subject. An hipologisti or enan hipologisti is an object, as a direct object. But it's not the main subject in this sentence, is it? It's not. When we are tackling masculine nouns, we need to take this rule into play. How? If I want to say, Αυτός είναι ένας καφές, I got ένας καφές. Ε, σίγμα, σίγμα. Αυτός είναι ένας χυμός, ένας σίγμα, χυμός, σίγμα. So the masculine form, they always have this. When is the main subject, okay? Αυτός είναι ένας χυμός. Αυτός είναι ένας κατάλογος. Is the main subject, so we need to put that σίγμα at the end. Alright, but when it's not the main subject, because the main subject is εγώ, ε, εσύ, αυτή, αυτός, εμείς, okay, we have to drop the S in café, cafés, café, and we need to add like this name, okay? For instance, θέλω έναν χυμό πορτοκάλι, παρακαλώ. Ω, συγγνώμη, συγγνώμη, θέλω έναν καφέ, θέλω έναν καφέ. Ε, συγγνώμη, συγγνώμη, θα ήθελα έναν κατάλογο, θα ήθελα έναν κατάλογο. Ναι, εγώ, εγώ θέλω, εγώ. So, εγώ, which means I, is the main son because it is me who wants the himos, isn't it? Oh, I'm glad that this issue, let's call it like that, doesn't happen with neutral nouns, neither with feminine nouns, okay? So, for instance, I could say αυτή είναι μία σοκολάτα. Μία σοκολάτα is the main subject, okay? 
But if I say, oh, signomi celo mia socolata, it doesn't change. Mia socolata doesn't have any alteration, doesn't suffer any change in the noun. The same happens with uh, the neutral, okay? I could say, oh, mm, afto ine ena biblio. I could say, oh, echo, ego, echo, en a biblio. Ne, echo en a biblio. It doesn't change for the neutral, neither for the feminine. We just need to be aware of the masculine nouns. Slowly but surely, we will get more and more examples. And we will need to be aware of those masculine, okay? There are other scenarios that uh, we could take this rule into account. But for now, let's take it, okay, more basic, all right? Ay, this is really hard, isn't it? My goodness! <laughs> I hope this has been helpful, all right? My recommendation for you, the same way I have done, is to write it down, okay? So you can watch again the video and try to write it down. So this way you can start pairing masculine with their articles, okay? That are article, feminine and their articles, and also the neutral. So in this way, we create a connection in our brains and our cognitive system start making these uh, links. And at some point, further in our learning process, we will be more like fluent. As soon as you see like, oh, hypologistis, you know it's masculine. Enas hypologistis, all oh, right. So if I say enas, it's the main subject. That's important subject, okay? If you hear mia lemonada, you know it's feminine. So we will use that in our benefit to help us, okay? This has been interesting, all right? And we will carry on with more and more things to learn because these, my friends, have just started and we will carry on. Taleme meta filakia pola.